Hi, this is Kelly with Centered Living Counseling, and I wanted to talk to you about surviving stress during the holidays. And I really wanna approach this from two different angles. The first is just how to survive holiday stress with your family, right? But the second part is how to survive holiday stress during COVID. So there are two different things, right? So let's talk about COVID first. So obviously there's a lot going on um, as far as the COVID cases in different states. It looks different um, from place to place. So if you are considering traveling anywhere for the holidays, I definitely recommend that you are aware of the COVID cases in your state as well as the state that you uh, plan to attend or the city that you plan to attend. Um, beyond that, obviously checking ahead with the airlines to find out about um, their safety practices um, and beyond that whether you are traveling or if you're going to be loco uh, when we're talking about you know stress related to COVID and the holidays be mindful of the number of people that will be there um, are there anyone with any health risk are people going to wear masks? Is it going to be indoors or outdoors? Obviously, the smaller number of people at the gathering, if it's preferably outdoor, if the weather permits, wearing your mask and being sure to um, socially distance as much as possible, wash your hands, right? All of those things will help you to lower your own anxiety as it relates to holiday stress during COVID. Um, we also have the luxury to join our family and friends virtually and have our own meals, right? Right? Some people are even considering, you know, coming by and just picking up the food and going home to eat and doing that virtual. There are many, many options. So definitely consider those things. But let's talk just for a second about holiday st stress in general and how to survive that. Everyone has that family member, whether it's an aunt or a cousin or a grandparent that will see you and say, when are you guys going to have children or when are you going to get married or oh, you've picked up a little weight. <laughs> All of those questions that make us like uncomfortable, right? That we're just like, oh, I don't wanna go over there because aunt so-and-so is gonna ask me these questions. The very first thing that I say is for you to be at peace with yourself. When you're at peace with yourself, then those questions can easily be brushed off, laughed off, and you can easily move on from it. So that's the first piece of advice is for you to be comfortable with it in your own skin and ask yourself, or, you know, how can you be comfortable with this question? Beyond that, I tell people that it's super important to have your answers pre-planned out. Think about it ahead of time. Anticipate what questions might come to you that will bring you a little bit of anxiety that might be like, I really wanna avoid this family member for this reason and have your answer all ready to go in your back pocket. That will definitely help. Also, limit the amount of time that you're gonna be there. So that's twofold. Not only does it help with the COVID issue, but it helps if you have somewhere else to go or somewhere else to be. So we can handle that time with our family and friends that can be fun, but also stressful if we do it in dosages. So maybe plan to be there for two or three hours and that will help as well. So having your own uh, supplies as far as sanitizer, mask, and things like that will help you to lower that holiday stress. Having those answers pre-planned out as far as what you're gonna say when you get those <laughs> uncomfortable questions. Um, and then limiting your time that you're there will help you as well, considering virtual as an option. And other than that, just relax and have fun and enjoy this precious time with your family and friends. So this is Kelly Center with Center Living Counseling, reminding you to journey well and enjoy your holidays.